There always has to be coffee. Give me a second. Good morning, folks. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. All right. Good morning, Fish Heads. Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates, and it is time for your weekly update at Jekyll Bates here at Bullshad Studios. A few things I want to go over with you. I have not scheduled, unfortunately, and I apologize, a spray session for this week. Just have plain run out of time. There's We're in crunch time for the classic. We're in crunch time for iCast. A um, lot of big things happening on the Bullshad and Jekyll Bates scale for the next few months. A uh, couple more major announcements that I absolutely cannot make today. But what I can tell you before we get started into all of this is that if you guys and fish heads and gals are in the Winchester, Virginia area tomorrow, tomorrow being Thursday, May 20th, this video is going to be published Wednesday. Hopefully, it'll give you guys a chance to see it. But if you're in Winchester, Virginia, in Frederick County, please find Jake's Tackle and go see Mike. Mike is going to be doing a meet and greet from 4 to 7 p.m. at Jake's Tackle. He's also going to be giving a seminar on swim baits at 6 p.m. That is tomorrow, May the 20th, 2021, from 4 to 7 p.m. in Winchester, Virginia at Jake's Tackle. Go say hi to Mike. Go hang out for the seminar. He's going to have uh, maybe some stuff for sale as well. I'm pretty sure he's going to have some stuff with him. Um, if you want to purchase some of the beautiful bull shads that we have available here for you. So that is my little plug for Mike. Um, got some stuff to show you guys this morning. Some big, some little. We're going to start with a bunch of these guys. A bunch of bull. So this, I'm only going to show a few of them. I have several of them. This is one of three patterns that is going to be exclusive for the Classic. If you guys are going to be in Texas and Fort Worth for the Bassmaster Classic, on Lake Ray Roberts. Uh, we will be at the Will Rogers Expo right downtown Fort Worth. It's beautiful. There's a river that runs through the town. We're going to be there, so make sure you come say hi to us. June 11th through the 13th in Fort Worth, Texas, I'll be there. I've already got a bunch of people from Facebook and YouTube that I haven't met. Some of my subscribers, some people that I've done admin pages with, Greg Dudley's coming. Should be a really, really good time. We are in the booth right next to John Cruz so, and Cash and Rods. We're super pumped about being there. This is one of three. This little beautiful gill from Ketchco and Mike Buca's collaborative effort is the baby bullgill. They have bullgills and bull shads, and I am one of the custom painters that um, is having a lot of fun with these guys. So this is going to be one. Two others that I'm going to reveal probably the week of the Classic that's uh, just going to be exclusive for Texans. You know, they say that everything is bigger in Texas, so bigger and better is what you guys are going to be getting, and I'm super stoked about seeing you guys there. So that pattern is going to be one of them. There's going to be a bunch of stuff for sale there as well. This is for a client. This is a client replay paint. This is the large Mega Bass Eye Slide, and it was a random color that didn't make sense for the water here in Georgia. So this is going out to Lieutenant Chris Mabe, and we did a, or I did, a baby bass pattern for him. So just a juvenile bass pattern. This is, sucker's got four layers of clear coat on here, and I gave a little bit of depth and definition to the gills just to get that flare because they have beautifully set that, that flare into this particular bait. So gotta love a good flare. And this is, this is that big daddy. So this from tail to head is a 10 inch in baby bass. Yeah, we're gonna save this for last because there are a couple of them um, not doing anything for sales for this pattern. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and talk about it now. This is my contribution and Mike's contribution from Bull Shad on this beautiful Shad Glide to the autism awareness effort that's being brought forth by Swimbait Culture. Uh, we've got some dead meat custom eyes in there. Thank you, Matt, so, so, so much for contributing the eyes for this piece. This is the traditional four color, um, blue, yellow, red, and green that you associate with autism awareness. And I have dropped that onto this really pretty shag glide. Mike made me a special red tail for this, which I love. So thank you, Mike, so much for taking the extra 
few minutes and, and uh, effort to give me a beautiful tail on this shad glide. So this is going to be auctioned and raffled um, through Swimbait Culture. The event is coming up real, real, sh I, I want to say it's in the next couple of days because we're coming down the home stretch. Um, I will, at the end of the video, because I'm kind of caught with my pants down here, I'm not exactly sure of the date, probably the 29th of May. And right now we are 19th of May. So within the next 10 days, 11 days, there's going to be a massive raffle. All proceeds are going to, do uh, are going to be donated by Swimbait Culture for autism awareness for families and children and adults and the national funded cause. So take a minute to check out Swimbait Culture's efforts this year in the autism awareness and we're super excited to be asked to contribute and super happy that we were able to put something together for you guys. So we are incredibly, incredibly humbled and excited to be a part of Swimbait Culture's event for Autism Awareness. Thank you so much for inviting us to come along. This is my latest effort on a juvenile rainbow trout. I've been Man, I've been hot and heavy into trout fishing on the fly lately. I really love it. I've got, um, it's just a, it's a sage rod and reel combo that I've never used before. I've had it for a couple of years. I just never had the opportunity, it seems like, to. Now that I'm in North Georgia, there's just so much water close by to where I live that I can just run 30 minutes down the road, 15 minutes down the road, and I'm on a trout stream absolutely love it and the trout are fantastic quality here in north georgia so if you haven't seen those videos go ahead and check those out for me too i can drop one there's in the description below i'll drop a link for you guys but um maybe if you guys are interested since it's been a while since i've done a trout pattern i think the last one i did on camera might have been for warriors for wyatt um that was Ah, gosh, I can't even remember which bait I did it on, but I think it was a replica bait. It wasn't a, like an evergreen or, or something that was legit. But this is out of Johnston Lures and stateside. They're out of Canada. Stateside, um, Timmy Consani or Consani at Crossroads Custom Tackle has these blanks. If you're interested, they swim exceptionally well. Uh, they're very well weighted. Uh, weigh about two ounces, just under. And these will go down roughly. Now this is um, this is a bit of a crank down, so this will drop down four or five feet if you get it right. But it will it will rise to the top as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing a, another trout video, it's been quite a while since I've done one. Um, I would be more than happy to get that together. But let me know if you, if you want to see something else. There's, there's plenty of freshwater and saltwater fish, so it's not like we run out of ideas to paint. Um, but some of you guys do have favorites and some of you guys may be trying to figure out how to do a pattern better or differently or maybe it's something that you've never tried before so i'm always open to suggestions that's all i've got for you guys today thank you guys so much for coming along for the ride thanks so much for being a part of this channel it means the world to me i hope that i'm able to give you some some new eyes on different things and different ways to do it i hope i'm able to teach you guys a few things as we go um I, I really love the relationship that I have with all of you guys out there in fish headland. Until we meet again, cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.